I know many of you watching this channel can relate to this situation. You're sitting in a meeting, you know, brainstorming and everybody is using these post-its. You get them handed out, you write down your ideas. Everybody sticks this to a wall, to a whiteboard or whatever. And then there's one poor person after this meeting collecting all these post-its or makes, makes a picture of this post-it post -it collection and then has to transcribe it manually, writing it down and then send it via email or even worse, just sending the picture via email. In this video, I want to show you how you can be much more productive and provide the information directly after the meeting has finished to your attendees. So everything is still fresh in their brain so they can see what they've written down. Maybe they can make some corrections or things like this. It's the paperless movement. Obviously we don't use paper in this case because I think post-its is a a lot of waste of paper actually. So we have here these magnet post-its that you can actually put onto magnetic walls, whiteboards or whatever, where you can get them from. I will put a link in the description below. And now let's digitize them, make some text recognition with this. And how this works, I will show you now with two different apps you can use there. Hi everyone, I'm Tom Solid and I'm the founder of the Paperless Movement. And this video is sponsored by my Paperless Movement Inner Circle members. That's a membership where you can join as well if you haven't already and you will get access to our closed community forum where we discuss everything paperless. You can get access to the live Q&A course, the premium blog posts, a lot of discounts for my members only and you will get access to my online courses as well. Make sure to check it out. Thanks to all the members who are already in there. Thanks to your consistent support, I'm able to make this video today. And now let's dive into it. And the first app I want to show you that is able to digitize these post-its will be Post-it. However, before we start, I just want to show you how challenging I will make this for these apps. So I made uh, some different colors. And then you see I used some color that is not very easy to read on this color. Then we have different colors as you can see. Then I have one with a picture on it and a word. I just want to see if this will be able to be recognized by this app as well. And then some general things. And then I have one more with two different signs there. I'm wondering if it will recognize the, the, these different signs and you see already the handwriting. I mean, it is already awful, the handwriting. However, in these brainstorming sessions, you won't be able to read this easily either. So the, if you want to use an app that replaces the person who actually manually transcribes this, this app should really be make a good job transcribing handwriting to text. Otherwise, another person has to correct it afterwards again. Okay, so and then we have one more here with a lot of text written on there with a thick marker and I also use different colors and thicknesses of the markers. So let's see how good those apps are. And we will start now with the app called Post-it from Post-it. It is actually a trademark and uh, they also have their own app and they really focus with this app, this app on Post-its. So now let's open the app and let's make a picture using this app from the post-its we have there. And the great thing about this app is that you actually can add missing pieces. So you see it didn't recognize all these different post-its, but you can just simply tap on these and it will recognize the additional post-its. And now we have it in the app and now we have the option to easily rearrange all this. So you see it's not in the order anymore. However, you can do this, the middle one, and it makes it in the right order that you had on the board. So that's really a nice option there. And once you made this, then you are able to open these different post-its. You see it's still the picture itself. However, on the bottom, you see the transcription of all these post-its. Here on the sun picture, it didn't recognize any text at all. Here you see it only recognized one of these two exclamation marks. And um, these are things where really a person has to get in there and to write or rewrite and rearrange these things. The next thing you can do is just exporting your board there like a PDF or 
to another post-it board, to a Trello board. But the thing is, you have to process it further in other things. So there is only the post-it app. So I would prefer to have it directly in my other tools available that I'm using for my task management and so on. This is where Miro comes in and you know that I showed already some videos about Miro and that's one of my favorite apps actually. And I'm happy to see that I also added the possibility to collect sticky notes and it will add it directly to the board. So let's see how this will look like in comparison to the one of the best sticky note digitizers uh, from Post-it. So here we are inside Miro of the iPhone app actually, and you can just press the plus button on the bottom right corner, and it will give you the option to capture sticky notes from your library or to capture it directly with your camera. And now we pick this picture it will recognize this if you say I use this photo and now it is recognizing all the different sticky notes we have there. You see the outline there that it recognized the sticky notes. I can say it's okay. And now we have it inside Myra already transformed into proper sticky notes, not like having the pictures in the post-it app. We have here proper sticky notes with transcribed text already. I can move it around. You see already that the text is perfectly transcribed because if you compare it now for example especially this big part here with the one from post-it you see that uh, Miro did a much better job here transcribing the text. We also see the one post-it where we, we had the sun on there it actually recognized the word sun and left out the picture. You also see that the exclamation marks are both recognized, not only one like the posted app does here. And as you can see, it also recognized the colors of the sticky notes. That's really awesome as well. So I can use actually different colors for different information like urgent or you know information and things like this. And it will recognize the color and transcribe this as well. That's really awesome. You saw some colors as well in post in the posted app. However, this was because it was actually the picture taken from these sticky notes. Here, it really transferred it into the formatting of this style. And that's really a nice thing to have. I think you can imagine already. If you're already a Miro user with your team, this is actually a nice feature because as you are working in the Miro boards anyway, with your team, this makes it even easier to share the information with others. Just imagine you had this meeting and you made this picture and brought it into the Miro board. Maybe you brought it into an existing Miro board. Let's say you have a design team, okay? And then you have already a Miro board with all the information about some things you want to create there. And then you said, okay, we have to sit together, make some brainstorming to get new ideas for changes for this design, whatever. Okay, what you will do then, you capture everything with your sticky notes, you make the picture and you put it already, you put it directly after the meeting or even during the meeting into your board and you have it there already. And other people collaborating on this board will be able to edit it, share it, change it, whatever you like. And I think that's really awesome because it's already integrated in my collaboration tool. And as Miro integrates with other task and project management tools like Asana or Todoist or whatever. This makes it even better to use as the main collaboration tool for brainstorming, mind mapping and so on. If you know anybody of the poor persons who have to write down all these sticky notes after such meetings, let them know that this meeting exists. Th those sticky notes I showed you, there are just a few. I know in these meetings usually you get huge boards with a lot of ideas going on. So I'm sure this person or yourself watching this video now will be happy to have a way to digitize this with just a simple press of a button. And if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you up next time when we talk about productivity.